Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna sound like shit because um, I didn't, um, I can't talk today. Okay, I am currently house sitting um, for someone. I did not bring my mic. I thought to bring my GameCube set up. Did not. <laughs> did not bring my mic. Kind of defeats the whole purpose, if you ask me. But you know what? Make sure I'm recording. Okay, we're back. We're doing more. I don't know what we'll get done tonight. Um, I think there's a couple of things we could do in Dragon Roost. We have the sword. I wonder if not having our own bombs will get us enough distance to get into there. I very much doubt it. Yeah. You know what? Let me try that one more time because I was really the camera angle. But maybe if we make a run for it, like if I just do like a. Straight up run. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Fuck. Yeah, so we gotta come back. Um, I started a note file um, that I will open up right now and keep open during the uh, during the run of islands that we um, visited that we can do more once we have more. So I have Popper and Isle. We can come back again once we have grappling hook and bombs. And then outside island, we can come back once you have the deck of leaf to do the forest. Um, so things like that. Anyway, I think there's there might be some things we can do in Dragon Roost. That was... Am I just bad? Am I just terrible at this game? Yeah, so I think we can do the mail game. I don't remember even how it works. But um, there's the mail game, and I don't... that might be the only treasure we can get for now, because we do need the death of leaf to get that treasure that's hiding on the tail now. And, oh, and there's something over there, right? Do we have any projectiles yet? No. Yeah, so we can't do that yet. Um, I'll make a note once we leave the island of what we can come back and do once we get certain things. Nice, nice, fucking beautiful. <laughs> Gotta love it. Anyway, um, gonna do some siddling up here. God, I love the music on this island so much. It's just one of the most relaxing songs ever and somehow doesn't, like, lose the, the momentum of the adventure in, in this the main game, obviously. <laughs> like, it just feels like that just early enough in your adventure where things are still optimistic, you know? And, um... This music kind of, like, captures that spirit perfectly while also being super relaxing, like, chill sleep music. And, um... I, th I love how in Breath of the Wild they kind of brought this back in like a relaxing remix kind of like, oh my lord, have mercy on me, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I love how in Breath of the Wild they brought it back in like this super relaxing remix for the Rio uh, Village. I was talking the other day, I feel like I'd love to do Breath of the Wild videos like this, um, and that you don't even need a random or <laughs> like you can just play it and it's a wild journey each time. But um... You know, don't have that technology. Maybe someday. Maybe. Why can't I? Why can't I move? Oh, that's weird. The controls got kind of messed up there. It like was respond. It, it's doing it again. Like, okay. It like inverts occasionally when you're sidling, which is real weird. But I assume it's just a glitch. That's what I'm doing, I was throwing it. Okay. Got any mail now. Oh, it's Prince Komali. He doesn't give you anything. It's so interesting to see like where they decide to put characters in point of the story. Cause that's where Prince Komali is like, in the game. I wonder if he's... I wonder if it's like broken and you could still go into his bedroom and he's still there, but like, 
I love what they did with Errol being on the pirate ship instead of Nico. Because it's like, technically in the game, I guess where they're deciding this randomizer takes place. Oh wait, Kobani's room was down there. No, 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 no. Where does each go? You know what, let's check it out, because we're here. And we can remember, let's see. Okay. So we might just be able to enter the dungeon right now and see what we can do. And I'm honestly game for it. I would say I'm honestly game for it if you guys are, but I'm honestly game for it, period. <laughs> and I'm in control here. I am the master of my domain. So you know what? We can see what dungeon. I forget that it's always randomized and we can't. It's not necessarily Dragon Roost Cavern. So we can see what dungeon's here and write that down. Can I play a game? Am I capable? But yeah, we can see what dungeon's actually here. And uh, note that we can see what we can do there, of course, and note it if we want to come back and do it later. you I am this bad at video games this is not an illusion I'm not having a rough day I am tired but this is just generally how bad I am so we have to redo the first one or no it's down okay but yeah it's interesting that Komali's new Komali and that the storm's still here like there's no consistency to the timeline, but that makes it kind of cool. It's like this out of reality of the game adventure, and I kind of like that. Ooh, no. <laughs> Maybe we can just throw from here. Come on. Oh, I am doing, doing absolutely horrid. No, I remember having trouble with this as a kid. Holy shit. No, but I remember this being difficult for me. Um, I guess this might be the place anywhere, of anywhere, to talk about my issues with video games. Um, and the reason I don't like it as a medium that much, and there are certain games that I'm very much attached to, and certain new games that I become very much attached to, but very rarely do I enjoy games anymore. Um, because you are in control, games have become a... Fucking lord. Games have become a medium where there is definitely a get good culture. You know, where it's like, you know, you get, you get ridiculed if you're shit. And that kind of is antithetical to what I love about games, which is the personal joy that they bring, um, the personal experience that you have. And to me, games are about fun. It's not worth it to me to grind away in a game to get better if you're not enjoying that pursuit. And sure, many people do enjoy that pursuit, but I, I value story, exploration, characters, things like that, an experience out of a game. It's why, like, Undertale was my favorite game of the past five years. But, um... And I also have very difficult skills. I have very... I, I don't have the skills, like, the coordination for a lot of games. Uh, my brain just doesn't work that way. Um, I'm a lot more like creatively oriented in my brain and I, I think it's the same. There has to be something there to be said for the same reason why I'm bad at math that would end. Yeah. Um, I think there's just something about games and um, math where I just can't grasp it that well. Like once I get it, I get it. 
but like it's very difficult and that barrier for entry is a lot harder. Let's see what dungeon it is. Oh, shit, it's um, Shadow Temple. No, 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 Earth Temple. I forget the, it's pretty much just uh, <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I love her. I forgot. You. I love Medley. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. Um, she bosses her around. God. I, I love. I love that. These are actually probably my two least favorite dungeons in the game, but still, I love. I love the mechanic. You need the deck leaf, don't you? <laughs> I love the mechanic of, um... Having someone follow you, like, around. Like, a little ca a character from the game story following you around. Yeah, you probably do need the deck to leave. One more try for good measure. No. Okay. Guess that's my answer right there. Um, okay, so I'll make note that this is... Um, the Earth Temple. Dragon Roost Island um, Dungeon Entrance is the Earth Temple. Um, come back with bombs and arrows for the two things we can get on the front of the island. Okay, let's get out of here. That's good to know. Uh, good to know that if we're looking for the Earth Temple, we can just come back there. I can't remember. I think I may have said it so that you can only get dungeon keys within the, those dungeons themselves. But I can't remember if I made that. Like, I was considering assigning that rule to the randomizer seed, but I don't know if I did. I can't remember. But I guess we'll, as we explore, we'll find out. Um, so Kamali's gonna be down here. I don't think you can get anything from him at all in the main game anyway. But I'm just curious to see if he's there because he was outside and see if it's like game breaking in that way. Nope, okay, makes sense. Weird, weird plushies. Duck plushies are interesting because not only are they birds, bird people, but also there's no ducks in this game, period. So, interesting choice. I was gonna say, I felt like there was like a hall with lava that you had to get over in this thing, but I think that's Goron City in Ocarina of Time, which this is obviously modeled after Death Mountain and Goron City, even though they're the Rito, or the evolution of the Zora. Uh, what's in here? Or is this where we just went for the dungeon, I think? Right? Or no? Oh, it's the higher up spot for the dungeon. Okay. I, 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 I remember. There's a guy that might give you something around here because he wants to like impress a girl or something, right? Yeah. Do we have a golden feather? No. Okay. Here's the mail game. I'm not good at that. I won't be good at this. Yeah. Do something at 20. Oh, 
Let's see if we can get to 20. Oh my god, I am really bad at this. Oh my god, we got it, we got it. Oh, do they not give you a treasure? Well, let's try it, why not? You know, it doesn't seem like we can get any treasure from here. Um, I think that's all we can get on Dragon Roost for now, actually. So maybe let's just leave? Oh, we can definitely come back here when we have the Deku leave. Okay, you know what? I'll add come back with Deku leave. And I think I'll, uh, I'll call it here, so, um, yeah, good night. I said good night.